Morning guys and welcome to this week's Aerability and welcome to the Aerability headquarters at the bottom end of my shed. It's been a busy week this week on our Facebook group. We've run our first competition. We've um, exchanged ideas about what would be a good slogan for our group. And I found out that everybody enjoys coffee and bacon as much as they enjoy air gunning. So we've got a lot in common. I've got my Peruvian organic blend here, and with a bit of luck, Mrs. G will be coming into the shed in a few minutes with my Sunday morning bacon butty. Shed life, it's fantastic. I must have been in Mrs. G's good books, cause a little later on, a bacon butty arrived and it even had an egg in it. How lucky am I? Anyway, you guys will have known I've been talking about my custom build of a Air Arms HFT 500 where I'm converting it specifically into a bench rest gun and um, I've commissioned a new stock from um, Tommy Bennett at Tilly Gunstocks and the action has gone to Ratworks where it's getting regulated and getting um, you know a pressure dial on it and things like that as well as a bit of a trigger job so hopefully that will come back in a lot better shape than it went so i've got some good news the stock arrived this week and i must admit i was like a 12 year old when it arrived i was giddy um my wife was slightly disappointed because tommy had reused a dyson hoover box and she thought she'd got a dyson but um sadly not so my stock arrived in a dyson box and um, i tried not to damage it as i unopened it in a in a, in a fit of juvenile abandonment but here it is my custom tilly stock in walnut for bench rest so i thought what we could do would be i could talk you through what i've had done to this stock and and what design decisions i made when i asked tommy to commission it and one of the main things i need to get across is tommy's very generous with his time and his knowledge and when the guy is when you might go with a lot of ideas, but be open and make sure that you discuss and let Tommy feed into the process because his knowledge is invaluable. And what he's added to my stocks up to date, um, I couldn't have thought of myself. So from front to back, this is a bench rest stock, as you can see, and it's meant to fit nice and flat on a standard bench rest. Yeah, rig, yeah. So to enable that, We've had to put a block on the front, which, um, as you can see, runs down the side, and it's the appropriate width to be bench rest legal in competitions, and this gives a secure base um, to shoot from. Also, if you have a look here, it's detachable. Now, that's a great idea because, I'll just put it down for a moment, It's detachable and I have another block I can put on with a Picatinny accessory rail on and I can fit a I can fit a a bipod remove the first block and fit that in so if I'm going to a range where I you know want a more informal day and I don't want to use them um, all my bench rest equipment I can just pop on the bipod and use the rifle um, normally for a mini bench so that's quite a handy um, little add-on that Tommy and I came up with. So back to the stock then. As you can see, it's beautifully cut to receive the um, HFT 500 action. And this is a left-handed stock, as I've said before, it's my biggest disability, being left-handed and it's a thumbs up shooting position so you can't actually turn your hand across turn your thumb over because there's a it's built for a purely thumbs up shooting position and this enables you to when you do bench rest do like the squeeze method with the trigger when you're approximately pressing the same amount of power on your thumb at the back as you are on the trigger at the front and they kind of evens the tension out and pull on the rifle when you're shooting. So it's a, it's a good style to adopt if you can 
if you can master it. So the grip is, as I've said before, contoured for a left-handed person. It's thumbs up position and there's a lovely little bit of a swell here. Tommy um, took measurements of my hand. Um, I, sorry, I took measurements of my hand. I posted them to Tommy, drew a little um, diagram of my hand, you know, around my hand on a piece of paper. And with those few facts, Tommy managed to extrapolate a perfectly fitting grip. So, you know, that just shows um, the man's knowledge. So moving further back here, we have um, most bench rest rifles only have a bottom thin stock. And that's because when people shoot, bench rest, they prefer to have the head floating. Because in bench rest, the, the less influence you have physically over your rifle, the better. If you could shoot it without touching it, it would be even better, but you can't. So what people do is to reduce the influence of your body on the gun. They don't have cheek rests, etc. Sadly, I haven't got enough um, strength in my neck to hold my head in the position which would allow him to do that. So Tommy has built a bench rest stock here with an adjustable cheek piece. Now that is um, adjustable both um, vertically and it has some um, horizontal adjustment too and you can twist it a little bit as well it's all under there in the metal gizmo there so up to now really the only thing that is being different to most stocks um, that Tommy would build for bench rest is it purely being thumbs up and having a cheap razor on it so one of the other things is as you can see I have very little um, gap between my shoulder and my neck and when I shoot I'm quite high up on the gun so what's happened is here Tommy put me an aluminium butt plate on which also covers the end of the cheek rest now that means I don't feel any transition when I'm shooting it's nice and smooth and that's where we get back to the, le the least influence you have over the gun while you're shooting bench rest the better so my clothes just just slide on there when i'm shouldering it because in some competitions you have to be seen is shouldering the gun so the gun doesn't really grip so how did tommy guess the the height of my um cheek rest well we did extensive measurements of the anchovies etc made sure we were using the same scope mounts to give the best chance of getting the cheek, cheek, cheek piece the same height. So what Tommy's done is we've we've done a, a good approximation. I won't be able to tell if it's exact until the action's in. But this end of the aluminium is not actually attached to the cheek piece, cheek piece, so it's free floating. And if for any reason this cheek piece has to go down quite a bit, there's no problem. I can regrind the profile on the aluminium so it fits. So that's absolutely lovely. Um, one other thing is, one of the unintended um, advantages of this design for me is when I'm carrying my stuff, it can be quite difficult and quite heavy. But this, it's got an aluminium perfectly flat butt plate. It will stand up with very little effort and balance if I hold it to put it away. And I can't damage the wood because it's got an aluminium, you know, in between the floor and and the and the wood so that really um covers it next i'll put in the video some really good close-up photos so you can see what i've been talking about and hopefully as ever you've found some of this video useful here's some close-ups of my new tilly stock and as you can see it's got a beautifully contoured grip with a thumbs up position and here is a close-up of the front block. And here's a close-up of the one-piece aluminium butt plate. And cheek riser and a look from the other side of the grip. And finally, a quick look from the other side of the block on the rest. That's enough for this week. Hopefully, um, in the next week or two, I'll be able to show you my HFT with the action on and then I'll be able to show you what scope I chose 
and I really did choose a different scope this time. I didn't choose one of the normal bench rest scopes. I went a little outside the box and I think I'm going to be quite pleased with it. So there'll be something to talk about in future weeks. So let's hope that um, you know the action's back soon. We can get it set up and talk about the HFT 500 build a little more next week. Take care guys and remember, always have a safe backstop.